for some morning yoga to get our flexibility and our of our body and our mind and ready for the day ahead. So welcome back if you are just here for a lift class, get us all warmed up. And now let's take us some time to stretch and release. So we're going to make this our very own practice. All right, you're going to modify where you need to. If you want to just spend the next hour resting on your mat, that's a great way to start your day as well. So make it your very own practice. First thing we're going to do is start out with a little bit of relaxation. Let's go down onto our backs. Let our arms rest in our sides, palms open face to the sky. Close your eyes and I want you to breathe deeply in through your nose, expanding your belly back in the cage on your inhale. And then exhale out through your nose. Feel that same area of your body contract and empty as you exhale. While we're breathing deeply in through the nose, out through the nose, just bring some awareness to your face. Feel your eyes go soft. Relax your jaw. Relax the muscles in your neck. Let your breath travel into your shoulders. And then breathe all the way down the length of your arms, out through your fingertips. our breath into our legs and we'll breathe from our hips down to our toes. And then let's guide our breath into our spine. Breathe from the top of your head, out through that tailbone, letting your breath weave itself in between each segment of your spine. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale as they float back behind us. Shoulders stay relaxed on the mat. Push out through your heels and extend out through your fingertips. Feel your body really lengthen and open. Breathe. And then let your body go soft. And let's inhale just your right arm up. Exhale, let it float back down. Inhale your left arm up. And exhale as it floats down. From there, let's bring your right knee into your chest. We'll give it a nice close hug. And let's point and flex our right foot. Really work from your heel to your toes. Roll your ankle around, lead with your big toe. And then just let your foot relax. And we'll switch sides. Pull the left knee and send the right leg out. Flex and point. Roll your ankle around, lead with your big toe. And then just rest your foot. Now it's both knees in, ah, nice and close to the body. Give yourself a well-deserved hug. And while you've got your knees hugged in, keep your shoulders relaxed, not feeling any tension in the shoulders or the neck. Let's add a few rocks side to side, massage your spine. Come back to neutral and let's circle our knees around. So we're going to massage through lower back. And then let's reverse. And then just hug your knees in tighter and tighter. Ease off a little bit and let your left foot rest down. Let's extend the right leg towards the sky and let your heel press to the sky. While there, spread your toes out as wide as you can. Scrunch them up really tight. Spread them open. Scrunch them tight. Once more, spread open. And scrunch tight. And then just rest your foot. Now let's lengthen the leg as we pull all the way down. 
Once down, we'll slide the right foot back in and pull your left knee to your chest. And then let's extend the leg. Pushing out through the heel again, we're gonna spread our toes wide. Scrunch them tight. <coughs> spread them open. Scrunch tight. Once more, we spread. And then we scrunch. And then just let your foot rest. Go ahead and then slowly lower. You can lead with your heel. Once we're all the way down, we can bring the knee back in. And then let's give ourselves another good strong hug. Add a few more gentle rocks side to side. And then a nice circle with the knees going around. And let's reverse. And then we'll give ourselves another nice hug and start to open your knees. Keep your big toes touching and think about just aiming your knees out over each shoulder. Now let's try to take them a little wider. Perhaps you can get the soles of your feet pressed together. Pull your heels closer to your body. Breathe into your outer hips and your inner thighs. And then release, we'll bring your knees back in. Feel your belly button pull tighter and tighter. And while you're doing that, press down through the back of your ribs and bring your shoulders, neck and head off the floor. Think about nose to knees. And let's release down. Try again, tighten the belly, press through the back of your ribs, round up nose to knees. And release down. Once more, let's tighten and come up. Now as we exhale, we're gonna roll up. And then once we're up, you can come into an easy cross leg position. And just let your palms open face to the sky. Let your shoulders fall from your ears. Close your eyes and continue to breathe. Dropping our chin to chest, breathing into the back of our neck. Inhale, lift the head to back, open your throat. Exhale again, draw the chin to your chest. Inhale, lift your back, open your throat. And again, exhale, chin to chest. And inhale, lift your back, open your throat. And then just come back to that neutral place. Feel like the top of your head is being drawn towards the sky. Lifting and opening the spine, we're gonna turn our eyes to look left. Come back to neutral. And let's turn our eyes to look right. Come back to neutral. Once again, turning eyes to look left. Return to neutral and eyes to look right. And then we're back to neutral. Chin to chest again, but this time tip your right or right. Drop the chin and tip left to your left. Drop the chin and tip to the right. Drop the chin and tip left. Once more, drop the chin and tip right. And just hover there with your right hand pressing gently above your left ear. Push your left palm into the mat. Breathe all the way up the arm along the side of your neck. And then let's reach up with that right arm and just gently gaze up at your right hand. Let's exhale, float that arm down. Once there, shoulder rolls back front. Turning into larger arm circles. And then finally, just stretch your arms out wide, press through the heels of your hands, point your fingertips down, open your heart, open your throat. And then let your hands return to your knees. Dropping chin to chest, tip your left ear to the left. Take your left hand, press it just above your right ear. And then let's release, lift the left arm and just gaze up at your left hand. Let that arm float down. From there again, we roll the shoulders back front. Making those circles a little larger. And then again, big stretch open. Press through the heels of your hands. Open your heart, open your throat. 
Now let your hands press together at heart center. Inhale to the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to the sky. And exhale to your heart. Inhale, touch the sky. And exhale to your heart. Once more, inhale. And exhale to your heart. Now form a little thumb and index finger triangle. Take a big inhale at the bottom, then exhale, push up. Inhale, pull down. Elbows, forearms meet, and then elbows go wide. So we exhale, press through the triangle. Inhale, back down. Exhale, press through the triangle. Inhale, back down. Let's try one more. Exhale, press through the triangle. And then inhale, back down. Take one final inhale in our seated position. And as we exhale, let's move on hands and knees. So whatever way works for you to get to your hands and knees. Once we found our place on our hands and knees, we've got our shoulders over hands, hips over knees, tops of the feet on the mat. Spread all of your fingers open wide. And think about turning your palms in slightly so if they were to move closer together, you form a triangle. I'm gonna feel as though we're pressing your weight down through these first three knuckles, kind of lifting the outer edges of your palms. Let's sink our navel, <coughs> lift our tailbone, lift our right open heart cow. Exhale, swoop and round the cat. Inhale, we open cow. Exhale, we round the cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, round the cat. Find your way back to neutral. Keeping the belly button tight. <coughs> Excuse me, extend your left leg out. Push out through your left heel. And then add your right arm forward. There's our spinal balance. Exhale, lower and switch. Push out through the right heel. Add your left arm forward, spinal balance. Exhale, lower, switch again. Right arm, left leg, extend. Exhale, lower and switch. Good, and this time, just remain on all fours. Let your knees separate with your big toes touching. We're gonna to push that tailbone back to the heels. Let your chest drop to your knees, forehead on the mat. Extend your arms, feel like your fingertips are reaching towards the front end of your mat. And then try opening your palms towards the sky, deepening that stretch. Let's flip the palms back over, tuck your toes under, and let's start lifting our tailbone towards the sky. Allow your head to drop through your arms, feel your ribs pull closer to your thighs. Feel the back of your shoulder blades draw down towards your gluteals. Nodding our head yes a few times. Shaking that head no. And then just let it dangle there. Let's walk the dog a few times, lift and lower each heel individually. Let's raise up one heel, press the other, and then we'll switch. Switch again. And one more time, we switch. And then we're gonna raise both heels and press them back down. Now let's inhale ourselves forward into a plank. So we've got shoulders over wrists, eyes looking out, belly button tight, but keep your buttocks relaxed. Press back up into down dog. Inhale into plank. And exhale down dog. Try one more, inhale into plank. Now let's all modify to the knees. So notice that's the only change. We still have a straight line. On the exhale, we're gonna start lowering, elbows are opening. Your chest knees to the mat, bend your hips, tuck your elbows in. Inhale as you rise into cobra. Exhale back down, elbows wide. Tuck elbows in, inhale, rise into cobra. Again, exhale, elbows wide going down. Tuck elbows in, inhale, rise into cobra. Now exhale, push all the way back, extend into your hands, please. Tuck your toes, come back up into down dog. Walk your dog a few more times. 
Raise up those heels and press them down. Inhale forward to plank. Modify if you'd like. Lowering down, elbows wide. Chest down, hips down, elbows come in. Inhale, rise, cobra, exhale, tuck toes. Back up, inhale, down. Inhale again into plank. Exhale, going down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's try one more. Inhale into plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now from down dog, let's take a giant step forward with our right foot. Once we get our foot into place, we've got our knee over our ankle. Our eyes are looking out. Good, strong back leg. And then we're going to sink down onto the left knee. Press down to the top of your left foot. Add your arms wide for airplane. And then from there, let's reach to the sky and then it'll form crescent moon. Exhale, fold forward. Lift up those left toes, go back into lunge. Send your right foot back, hold on to your plank. Exhale, back up into down dog. And then we take that giant step forward with our left foot. And again, we've got our knee over our ankle, we've got our eyes looking out. Let's think about keeping our weight in our first three toes on that left foot. Now let's sink the right knee down, press through the top of your right foot. Lift out your arms, there's your airplane. And then let's inhale, reach to the sky, crescent knee. Exhale, fold forward. Tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee. And this time we're gonna step the right foot forward. Once there, we've got our toes in slightly, heels out slightly, we've got our ribs resting on our thighs. Upper body goes limp. And again, bent knees as much as you need to here. Inhale, let's roll up, reach high, touch the sky. Exhale, return to your heart. Inhale, extend. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, reach. And exhale to the heart. Inhale, extend. Exhale, let's fold forward. Inhale, let's look out. And exhale as we sink. Right foot back, left foot back into plank. Exhale, coming down, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows come in. Inhale, rise, cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale into your heart. Inhale again, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, looking out. Exhale as we sink. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale, lowering down. Elbows tuck in, inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes in, heels out. Inhale, as we roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale again, exhale, pull the body forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale as we sink. Right foot back, left foot back, plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, elbows tuck in, eyes cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale again, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes in, heels out. Inhale, pull up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to our heart. We've got one more sun salutation. Inhale to the sky, exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. 
in exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, we roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale, to your heart. Now let your arms extend at your sides. And let's take a few breaths in our standing mountain pose. Breathe. From there, we inhale to the sky. We exhale and fold forward. Inhale to look out. And exhale as we sink. Right foot steps back, forming our lunge. Pressing our right heel to the mat, turn our right toes out. Align your left heel with the back of your right heel. Press down through those first three toes on your left foot as you lift upper body. Think about squaring your hips to the front of your mat. Stacking shoulders over hips. Add your arms to the sky. Lower the arms down. Rise back up. Lower the arms down. Rise up. This time, lower the arms, but only open halfway. Stay long in the waist and hinge forward, taking us into warrior airplane. Let your hands return to the mat. Lift to the ball of your right foot so we're back in lunge. Press down through the right palm. Inhale, left arm wide to the side. Exhale, revolve at your waist. Twisting lunge. Exhale, left hand down. Send your left foot back. Hold your plank. Exhale as we lower. Inhale, lengthen, rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward again. And exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes in, heels out. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Now let's bend your knees, and as you're bending your knees, you're sinking down into a tiny chair, pulling those knees closer together. Add your arms alongside your ears, and then try lifting your ribs away from your thighs for chair pose. Inhale, rise to the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale again, extend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale as we sink. Left foot steps back into lunge. Once there, left heel pushes down, turn left toes out. Align that right heel with the back of your left heel. Think about pressing your weight into those first three toes on your right foot as we lift up our body. We're squaring our hips to the front end of our mat, adding the arms, or your one. Slower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower halfway hold. Stay long in the waist. Hinge forward for your airplane. Hands release to the mat. Lift to the ball of your left foot, runner's lunge. Keep your left hand pressed. Inhale, right arm to the side. Exhale, revolve at your waist. Twisting lunge. Exhale the right hand down. Send the right foot back into plank. Exhale as we lower. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale again, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes in, heels out. Inhale with our flat back. Exhale, let's sink deeper. Bending our knees once again like we're sitting down in a tiny chair. Feel the knees drop close together as you're lifting ribs away from thighs. Add your arms alongside your ears. Inhale, rise from your chair. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale again, extend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, let's look out. Exhale, fold deeper. Now let's extend the right leg behind us, but we're going to press through the right heel and try to bring it up to about hip level. 
Meanwhile, you're going to place your hands on either side of your left foot from your tripod. You want to think about keeping a straight line from the heel of that right foot out to the top of her head. This would be our tripod balance. We can stay like that, or you can position your left thumb so it's in a straight line with your left pinky toe. Begin to roll your right hip away from the mat, and then extend your right arm towards the sky. On the exhale, bring the right hand down if it's lifted. We're all going to step way back with the right foot, returning to that lunge. And that will allow us to walk around into a nice open straddle, facing the wide edge of your mat. Toes in, heels out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink deeper. So remember, on knees, you can bend your knees as much as you need to. But I want you to try to make your upper body completely loose. So we're not feeling any tension or restriction in the upper body. Let's go ahead and press down through the palms so the arms push straight. And then just raise your heels so we end up on those big toe knuckles. Press our heels down, and then try to spread your toes out even wider. Try again, raise your heels, run our big toe knuckles. Press the heels back down, and once more, see so if you can get just a little bit more width between those toes, and raise your heels. And then from there, let your heels drop back down. Inhale, look out with your flat back. When you're ready, let's add the arms for airplane. And then inhale, rise to standing. Once we've made it up, our feet are a little wider than our hips, our toes are in, our heels are out, and our palms are open to the sky. So feel that stretch all the way across your heart, out through those fingertips. Your three palms to face forward. Let your fingertips meet. And then let your palms press together. Lace your fingers together. Turn your palms away from your body. Breathe across your upper back. And that space between your shoulder blades. While we continue to press out, I want you to lift up. Let your arms spring your head, no tension in the shoulders. You notice that your arms are just a little bit in front of your ears. While we're pressing up and up and up, let side stretch to the right. Press back up towards the sky and side stretch to your left. Pressing back up. Let the arms reopen and find your star. Left toes turn to the front end of our mat. Align your left heel with your right arch. Maintain that openness of that upper body. Let's bend the left knee and find the warrior two. So the same thing. We want to have an equal amount of weight into both feet. But the weight that's in our front foot, we want to feel that weight pressing into those first three toes. Keep the torso tall and centered between both feet. Lower the right arm so it makes a full circle. On the way back down, we lift the left arm and turn the left palm to the sky, bringing us into reverse warrior. Bring yourself back into warrior two. Pull the left leg straight without walking. We're back where we started. Now we're ready to begin our triangle pose. So imagine that you're being pressed between two panes of glass. And while you're still pressed between those panes of glass, your right hip starts to pull right and your left arm is going to reach all the way out. Once we can't go any further in either direction, we simply lower the left and lift the right. And we want to feel like we're being suspended from the ceiling. 
So instead of feeling like you're sinking downward, think about being drawn up. Breathe into all that space. Now let's take the right arm and just lay it across your right ear with your palm facing the sky. There's our side triangle. And then if we bend the left knee, we need to place our left forearm on our thigh or reach right hand to the back, and that's side angle pose. Inhale the right arm up into extended angle pose. And then as we exhale, let's revolve upper body. Return to the ball of your left, uh, right foot. We're back in lunge. Send your left foot back into your plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, let's rise up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. Exhale again, down dog. Extend the right leg behind you and let it lift towards the sky. Three legged dog. Giant step forward with that right foot. Brings us back into lunge. Let's step the left foot forward. Toes in, heels out. Inhales, we roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale into your heart. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Now let's send our left foot back. Extend through the left heel. Place your hands to form a tripod with your right foot. Nice straight line from the heel of your left foot out through the top of your head. Feel your weight maintaining itself in the first three toes of that right foot. Stay like that or align your right thumb with your right pinky toe as you start to open your left hip. Add your left arm towards the sky. Half moon balance. Exhale, left hand down if it's lifted. Let's step left foot back, return to your lunge. Once there, we can walk ourselves around to form our straddle. We should be facing the other side of our mat. So toes and heels out, hands under shoulders. Let's inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink. You can get a little bit more. Let's walk the hands through the legs. Let your fingertips press down into the mat. And then let's walk the hands back out. From there, just press down through the palms again, arms push straight. Let's gain heel with that flat back looking out. Exhale, there's our airplane. Inhale, we rise slowly to standing. Once we're upright, palms open to the sky. Make sure your feet are a little wider than your hips. Toes in, heels out. Breathe. Good. Now let the arms float down. We're going to hook them together behind us. Feel your shoulder blades start to draw together while you're pressing and opening that heart center. Tip your head back, open your throat. And think about pulling those hands down. Inhale, neutralize the spine. Exhale, return to star. Now let's inhale up the arms, start to rise. Now let your palms press and then your fingers lace, but this time let your index fingers press together. A 
the arms come forward and feel that pull out through those index fingers, separating that space between your shoulder blades. And then let's reopen and one more star. From there, we're ready to turn our right toes to the front end of our mat, align our right heel with our left arch. And let's bend the right knee. It's finding its way out over your ankle without going beyond those toes. Equal amount of weight into both feet, but the weight in that right foot is in our first three toes. Lower the left arm is going to make a full circle. On the way back down, we lift the right, we turn our right palm to the sky. Reverse warrior. And then find your way back into warrior two. Now we'll pull the right leg straight without locking, so we're back where we started. And again, we're being pressed between two panes of glass like a flower, a pressed flower. While we're being pressed, our left hip starts to pull left, and our right arm is reaching straight out as far as we can go in either direction. And we simply lower the right and we lift the left. And that left hand is reaching towards the sky. We feel like we're being pulled up instead of sinking down. We're not feeling any tension or resistance in the shoulder or the neck. And now while we're here, start to lower that left arm across your left ear, palm to the sky. That becomes our side triangle. And then just bend the right knee and you can either place your forearm on your thigh or your hand to the mat and there's side angle pose. Inhale the left arm up, extended angle pose. And then exhale, revolve the upper body hand to the mat. Lift to the ball of your left foot, we're back in lunge. Right foot steps back into our good sturdy plank. Exhale, down we go. Inhale, rise into cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. Exhale, down dog. Now send the left heel back. Start reaching towards the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Right foot comes forward as well. Toes in, heels out. Inhale, let's roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. And then just let your arms come down. And we're back into our standing mountain pose. All right, so let's find a focal point for our eyes, fixate on that spot. Once we've got that down, we can feel that navel drawing inward. That doesn't mean hold your breath, it just means really think about holding that area of your body. It's gonna give us our balance, our support, and then begin to shift your weight into your left foot. Once ready, let's place right heel against left ankle bone, hands to heart. And then you can lift your toes when you're ready. High or low, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you're not pushing your heel against the side of your knee. Let's extend the branches of our tree towards the sky. first. Let your foot return to the mat. And we're back into standing mountain pose. Alright, so same thing other side. We've got our focal point. We start to shift our weight into our right foot. 
placing our left heel against that right ankle bone, hands at heart center. And then when you feel ready, lift your toes. Add the branches of your tree when ready. Scoop the belly and round up for your cat. And then come back to that. Cow sinking your navel, lifting your tailbone. And we're back to neutral. Now we're ready to inch your left knee forward so it comes up behind the left wrist. Use your 
your right hand to guide your left heel across the body. We actually want to aim it at our right hip bone once there. So if you can start to slide the right leg a little farther back. Think about keeping your left knee pointing to the side of your mat and then easing your upper body down. While we're here, I want you to keep it active. So you're gonna really press through the outer edge of your left pinky toe and press through the top of all five toes on your right foot. one more inhale. On the exhale, let's make our way onto our forearms. Tuck your right toes under, lift the right knee, push out through the right heel. That becomes second position pigeon. And then step your left foot back, bringing you into a nice forearm plank. From there, we're going to ease to both knees. Walk your hands in. That brings us back to all fours, and we'll switch sides. So right knee inches forward this time. Use your left hand to guide your right heel across the body. You want to aim it at your left hip bone. Think about opening right knee to the side, and then inching down. Press through the outer edge of your right pinky toe. Press through the top of all five of your left toes. Let's make sure we're back up onto our forearms. Tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee. That brings us into our second position pigeon. And then let's step our right foot back. And that brings us into forearm plank. Easing to the knees. Let's walk back up into all fours. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. Exhale, scoop and round for cat. And then we're back to that neutral place. From there, we can come around to the seat. Let's start with the soles of our feet pressing close together. Let your feet rest in the palms of your hands. And then while you're doing that, think about pulling your heels a little closer to your body and letting your knees fall open. Spine is long. Exhale, let's soften a little bit. And stretch the right leg out. You can place the bottom of your left foot tight against that right inner thigh, and then slide your right hand towards your right ankle. Send the left arm high and let's side stretch to the right. As we inhale, lift up. Rotate in the waist, both hands on either side of your right foot, and start to walk those fingers forward as you pull your upper body closer to your right thigh. Inhale back up, and then we'll change legs. So let's send the left leg out and bend the right knee. So we've got our foot pressed up close to our left inner thigh. Start reaching towards your left ankle side, bend over. Inhale as we lift, rotate at the waist, hands on either side of that left leg. Start inching forward and folding down. And 
and let's come back up. And then from there, we can open out both legs. Stick your toes in the air, push out through the heels of your feet, hands between your legs, start walking your hands forward. Now think about your belly button being pulled forward, not your, not your chest, or not your head, just that belly button. And if you can get your belly button to the mat, the rest of your body is going to follow. Let's inhale and press back up. Bring your legs closer together. Let's bend the knees. Place your hands behind your thighs. Relax your shoulders from your ears. And then balance on your tailbone. Once you're ready, let's start extending the legs. Go as far as you can without rounding your back. See if you can let go. And then slowly float open. Once we're down, push out through your heels, reach out through your fingers. Let your body relax a little bit, lift your arms, return them to your sides. Bend the knees, feet walk in, keep them about hips distance apart. Toes and heels out, tighten the belly as you slowly peel off the mat. Press up into your bridge, and I want you to feel this in your buttocks and your hamstrings, not in your thighs and the top of your knees. You don't want to feel weight pressing into the neck. Exhale, smoothly come back down. Let's cross left over right. Open your arms wide and let your knees go to the right as you look left. Come back up. We'll change the cross of our legs. And let your knees drop left. And look right. And we'll come back up. And let's uncross. Good, and then let's extend the legs out one at a time. Start by just pushing out through your heels, so tense the muscles in your legs. So soft. Bring your arms in closer to your body. Tense the muscles in your arms from your shoulders to your fingertips. And then let your arms go soft. Continue to breathe deeply. Lingering in those spots that are holding on to tension or perhaps give you issue on a daily basis. We need to feel more to understand others. We need to love more to be loved back. We need to cry more to cleanse ourselves. We need to laugh more to enjoy ourselves. We need to be honest and fair when interacting with people. We need to establish a strong ethical basis as a way of life. We need to see more.
than our own fantasies. We need to hear more and listen to the needs of others. We need to give more and take less. We need to share more and own less. We need to release the importance to realize the importance of family as a backbone to stability. And family, I would term as not only blood relatives, but those in your life, those dear, deep friends that are family. We need to look more and realize that we're not so different from one another. We need to create a world where we can treat one another, trust one another. We need to create a world where we can all peacefully live the life that we choose. So let us set aside all of our anxious thoughts, make a decision to live today with courage, with an open heart and a grateful heart and a hopeful heart. Extend random acts of kindness wherever you can. Remember, my soul honors your soul. I honor that place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because they are also within me. And sharing these things, we are united, we are the same, we are one. Namaste. So go forth and have a wonderfully positive day, spreading that positivity to others. Don't forget to keep yourself well hydrated. And remember always, wear your mask, cover your nose, cover your mouth when you're out and about. Wash your hands a good 20 seconds at a time. And don't forget to keep social distance. All right? Thank you for joining me today. I will be back tonight to let you know what we have going on tomorrow. Take good care. Bye-bye.